And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Israelites, it is important that you do not fall for the doctrines of devils circulating in the Israelite community as well as in the awakening. The kingdom of darkness purpose in spreading the doctrines of devils is to control the awakening and create confusion. The scripture said the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. It is imperative to seek the Most High's peace. The peace of the Most High brings confirmation as well as rest to your spirit. Without the Most High's peace, you will find yourself indecisive. If the decisions you made do not give you peace, keep searching for a solution until you find the Most High's perfect peace. The peace of the Most High is a part of the fruits of the Spirit that each and every single one of us should possess and improving daily. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such... There is no law. Israelites, the doctrines of devils are circulating in both the awakening and outside of the awakening. We all should know religion teach nothing but doctrines of devils. The Most High is not the creator of religion. The Most High fought hard to keep his people from religion. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion, and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Religion is idolatry. In addition, you are serving the kingdom of darkness. Any religion that tell you that the laws of the Most High is done away with is of the kingdom of darkness. The Most High did not create his laws without a purpose. Why would religious organizations inform the people that you no longer have to keep his laws? Why would anyone believe the Most High approve of his people not following his laws? How the Most High can justify his wrath towards the wicked if his laws are done away with? If you break the laws in the nations that you dwell in, there will be consequences for your actions. Likewise, if you break the laws of the Most High, there are consequences for your transgressions. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. The doctrines of devils are manipulative. You have to be careful. The doctrines of devils are truth mixed with lies, making the doctrines of devils a half-truth. Everyone should know by now that a half-truth is a complete lie. The kingdom of darkness makes sure the doctrines of devils cater to your flesh, the natural man. Remember, the flesh is Satan's territory. Most people operate in the flesh, especially the people in religion. Religious people have no spiritual connection with the Most High. That is why they are misunderstanding the awakening. Satan successfully disconnect them from the Most High that they cannot hear. The Most High has to draw a person to himself. No one can come without an invitation from the Most High. Religion teach the people to believe in the image of the beast and they will be saved. That is why religion is not of the Most High. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Any doctrine catering to the lust of man's flesh, many will accept and follow. The wicked do not possess any self-control. They will accept the outrageous doctrines. Doctrines such as women were created to be a slave to the men. Nowhere in the scriptures will you read about the anointed prophets of the Most High, manhandling their wives. Many will disregard the scriptures, declaring both the man and woman are heirs together. In addition, the husband should love his wife. Likewise, ye husbands, 
dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Many of their prayers are hindered. This is why our communities and households are in the conditions they are in. The sinner will believe it is permissible to degrade and mistreat their daughters, wife, sister, and etc. In addition, you can have as many women as you like. The sinner will believe the outrageous doctrines by the kingdom of darkness when they say the Most High allow you to take the strange woman for wives. What wicked men would reject that? In the heart of a sinner, that is music to his ears. They will ignore the scriptures that reveal dealing with the heathen women brings idolatry. Idolatry was the cause to the downfall of our nation. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughter. Thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. King Solomon is a prime example. Why would Israelites, in the awakening that profess to love the Most High and is returning to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, contribute to the downfall of our nation by following in the footsteps of the wicked Israelites in the past? An awakened Israelite that loved the Most High wants to follow the commandments and laws. The Most High clearly state he does not want his people to intermarry with the outside nations. The doctrines of devils are fulfilling their lustful flesh desires. The deceived sinner do not realize unclean spirits are giving him or her those lustful flesh desires. The people of the Most High perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Through knowledge will the just be delivered. The people who operate in the flesh are always looking for a solution that make him or her feel good. Israelites, never allow emotions to dictate your life. Allow the Most High to direct your path. Remember, a fiery trial comes before the blessings. A fiery trial purpose is to strip you of the lust of the flesh. Trials are not meant to make you feel good, but to bring growth and maturity. People make the worst decisions when they are emotional. You have to learn how to operate in the spirit to gain victory in the physical realm. Israelites, we are in what the heathens declare Black History Month. The heathens love to focus on slavery for the so-called Black History Month. They want to highlight the accomplishments of slaves during this time. The heathens do not want anyone discussing anything outside of slavery. They want us to believe slavery is all that the so-called black people were involved in. Black history should be changed to world history. Black history is world history. Do not allow the heathens to minimize who we are as the indigenous people of the world. We are the original man and woman. Israelites, it is important that you comprehend that the indigenous people to all the nations of this world are black people or dark people. The Most High's original creation are melanated dark people. The original heathens are dark. Some have straight hair while others have woolly hair. Some indigenous people have colored eyes. Israelites, colored eyes, straight hair, and fine textured hair is nothing but a form of albinism. It is not that deep. Colored eyes and straight hair is not specific to a certain demographic of people. The indigenous people carry those features as well. Do not believe that blonde hair and blue eyes are European features only. Straight hair and slanted eyes did not come from the modern Asian culture. I can show you multiple pictures of indigenous people with straight hair, colored eyes, blonde hair, and slanted eyes. You need to understand those features are not dominant genes, but recessive genes. The heathens want you to believe pale skin, colored eyes, straight hair are dominant to encourage you, the original man and woman, to covet those recessive genes. The kingdom of darkness have to make what they are offering appear better to deceive you. In addition, in order for the offsprings of the sons of God to increase their population, they have to procreate with an indigenous person. 
Israelites, it is time to open your eyes and go beyond what you can see. Go beyond what the heathens declare to be truth. You should never trust your enemies, especially those whose whole being is nothing but recessive genes. There are multiple doctrines of devils circulating in the Israelite community about who are the sons of God. The disciples of Satan teach that the sons of God are men, while some teach the sons of God are Israelites. Many Israelites use the term the sons of God in a way to elevate themselves through pride. Anything can be an idol. An idol is a noun. It could be a person, place, or a thing. Fallen angels are idols. Unclean spirits are idols. Your job and family can become an idol if it takes first place in your heart. Many Israelites are becoming prideful in the awakening. Be careful with the spirit of pride. There are Israelites who believe the sons of God are Israelites due to the many references of the Most High referring to his servants as sons and daughters. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Israelites, you have to use discernment. Remember the scriptures were altered. The synagogue of Satan inserts certain words to confuse the reader. In addition to altering the scriptures, the synagogue of Satan changed the narrative to make the offsprings of the sons of God as the superior and original, while the creation of the Most High as curse and subhumans. Satan had his disciples remove incriminating books from the Bible to keep you confused. Books such as Enoch and the Apocrypha. They inserted scriptures that glorify the beast and the many idols they serve. Israelites, you need the Holy Spirit to understand the scriptures. When you have the Holy Spirit revealing truth to you, regardless of the alteration in the scriptures, the Most High will fill in the missing pieces and reveal the truth. It is important to study the scriptures under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. If not, you will find yourself in the house of bondage religion. The Most High often referred to his people as sons and daughters. The Most High is a father to the Israelites. They shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. When the Most High referred to his people as his sons and daughters, do not confuse the Most High referring to himself as our father with the sons of God spoken of in Genesis chapter 6. Let us start with who are the sons of God. The scriptures reveal to us that in Genesis chapter 6 that the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. They took wives from the daughters of men and created an offspring. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. If the union between the daughters of men and the sons of God was a regular man and woman courtship, then the scriptures would not have differentiated the daughters of men with the sons of God. If the sons of God were the counterpart to the daughters of men, then it would not be out of character for the sons of God to marry the original woman. It is because the sons of God are not the counterpart to the original woman that the scriptures refer to those spirits as the sons of God. Remember, the kingdom of darkness inserted certain words to confuse you. The synagogue of Satan replaced angels with the sons of God. The sons of God that procreated with the daughters of men were fallen angels. Other names for angels in the scriptures is the sons of God. The book of Job chapter 2 verse 1 revealed the angels or the sons of God came to present themselves to the Most High and Satan appeared also. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Satan is an angel. He is the leader to the fallen angels in the entire kingdom of darkness. The sons of God are not the indigenous male or Israelites. They are angels. The children that were produced from the union between the sons of God and the daughters of men are not of the Most High. The Most High created the angels and the human beings, two separate entities with different abilities. 
What the angels and the human beings procreated together stems from rebellion and sin. For example, the Most High created the lions and the tigers. Both of these animals have a counterpart. Any wildlife reservation you visit around the world, you will find that every animal procreate with its counterpart and live within the family clan and the territory that belongs to the family. A lion know it has to procreate with another lion to duplicate itself. The same with the tiger. When a human being take a lion and a tiger, force them to cohabitate and procreate, whatever they reproduce is a new species. The offspring from the lion and tiger is not of the most high, but from the creation of men. Just like when the elites clone animals and humans, that is from the kingdom of darkness. The idea of cloning and tampering with what the most high made perfect stems from the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness need the creation of the most high as its base to bring forth its hybrids. That is why you are important indigenous people of the world. The most high did not command a lion and a tiger to procreate. That is what men did to bring forth the hybrid species. The book of Enoch will reveal to you all the diabolical inventions the fallen angels taught mankind. The Most High did not give the angels permission to marry the daughters of men. Marriage is for men and women. The fallen angels disregard the commands of the Most High and did what was pleasing in their sight. Due to their wickedness, the Most High have fallen angels locked up in chains until this day that are waiting for their punishment for the abomination they brought to earth. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. If what the sons of God or fallen angels did was acceptable and well received by the Most High, then Yah would not have wiped out his creation with the flood and locked down certain angels with chains. Israelites, it is important that you understand that an infiltration took place when the fallen angels procreated with the daughters of men. Some people believe the angels do not have the ability to mate with the daughters of men. If you believe Yeshua came by a virgin birth, then it should not be difficult for you to believe the wicked fallen angels procreated with the daughters of men. Israelites, when you have sexual dreams, who do you believe you are mating with in the spirit realm? What do you believe a spirit husband or wife is? The demon Asmodeus had the ability to kill seven men to keep them away from his earthly wife. Many of you have spirit husbands and wives and you are unaware. Spirit spouse make it difficult to maintain a healthy relationship. In addition, a spirit spouse will prevent you from getting married. The marriage institution among the indigenous population has declined. I wonder why. Everything that is going to take place will first take place in the spirit realm. Then it will manifest in the physical realm. The scriptures reveal to us, be careful on how we treat strangers. You may entertain angels unaware. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. We have angels in camp around us to deliver us. If the Most High could open your eyes, you would be surprised by the amount of unclean spirits and demons surrounding you. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High cast Satan and his angels to earth. You live among fallen angels and unclean spirits. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Israelites, you do not want to live in a world where you do not know what is happening. You want to get familiar with the spirit realm as well as the physical realm. You need to know what you live among. The kingdom of darkness has dumbed down the indigenous population that they can no longer connect with their spiritual side. Do not live by the distorted history taught to you by the very people that do not want you to rise. It is important for you to know who the indigenous people that were made in the Most High's image are. When you can identify the indigenous people, you will be able to identify the offspring of the fallen angels living among you. 
By the way, not all of the sons of God are fallen angels. The fallen angels are the angels that rejected the Most High and choose to follow Satan. It is important that you understand that Satan has a seed and his seed dwell among us. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Many people debate that the offspring of the fallen angels were wiped out when the Most High sent the flood. Yes, they were wiped out, and the Most High used Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. The scriptures state the Most High wiped out all flesh, including the animals. The scriptures also reveal in Genesis chapter 6 verse 4 that there were giants after that. Listen carefully. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. King David battled Goliath, which the scriptures describe as a giant. Goliath was definitely a Nephilim. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. Goliath appeared in King David's generation several generations after the flood. The Most High wiped out all flesh in the times of Noah. The scriptures did not say the Most High executed the fallen angels responsible for the infiltration of his creation. I am sure the fallen angels intrude once more, if not Goliath would not be in King David's generation. In addition, the DNA of the spoiled seed continued to transfer when the indigenous population mate with the offspring of the fallen unaware. I wonder about those Neanderthal genes. The Most High has a way of exposing the counterfeit. And there was yet a battle in Gath, where was a man of great stature that had on every hand six fingers, and on every foot six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born to the giant. And when he defied Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the brother of David, slew him. These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. Israelites, beware of the doctrines of devils. Some doctrines are subtle, while most are wild and outrageous. Regardless, test the spirit of those who are passing along the doctrines of devils, as well as those you trust. Never place your trust in man, but the Most High. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. The kingdom of darkness has manipulated history. In the last days, the Most High is going to reveal much truth. That is why Yah said knowledge would increase. What was hidden will become known. Israelites, you have to believe the Most High. There are some things the Most High will reveal that will be too deep for some of his people to digest. Take your time and do not let the kingdom of darkness steal the good wisdom. Remember, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of Yah. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. As the indigenous people of the world, we have an amazing connection with the Most High that no other species or hybrids have. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to dim your connection. As the scriptures state, we do not live by the seen things, but the unseen. For the seen things are temporary, while the unseen things are eternal. Do not let the belittling of our history and our world by the heathens make you feel less than. We have contributed more than the kingdom of darkness and the synagogue of Satan give us credit for. We should not allow the lies from those who do not belong have an impact in our lives. Black history is world history. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God.